I'm Yolande Poirier from Oracle Technology Network, and I'm here today at DevOps UK with Stuart Marks. Hi. Hi Stuart. So, Stuart, you're working on the lambda expressions. So, uh, tell us um, about the lambda expressions. Okay. How do they affect? Mm -hmm. How do they affect the JVM and the compiler? So, so the lambda project is it's quite comprehensive. It affects the the JVM, the compiler, the programming language, and the class libraries all at once. So, there needs to be uh, support in the JVM to uh, to to handle new bytecodes that are being generated by the lambda compiler. There's changes to the uh, programming language specification, but even if you take all of that, I mean, it provides us it provides a certain amount of value. But what we also need is changes to the to the libraries, the, the class libraries, and the library APIs to uh, to really make the uh, lambda expressions useful to general programmers. So, and when will so all this is part of the Java e, um, SE eight, right? Yes, Java oh. SE eight. Okay. And uh, so you have also a presentation today. So what is your presentation about? Okay, so I have uh, uh, a talk entitled uh, Accelerated Lambda Programming. And uh, basically, it's going to focus on the, uh, the class library changes and the class library APIs for Lambda. And I think the, the difficult, one of the difficulties has been that the, the project is so broad that it's impossible to compress all of that knowledge into a single talk or even into two or three talks. And so, so in my talk, I'm going to be focused Focusing on solely on the class libraries, and tell us um, some, or tell us some of the libraries. Well, the main new library that is in, ad being added in support of Lambda is the, called the Streams library, and so. Uh, briefly, a stream is a what I the way the way I'm describing it is a multiplicity of values, and so in sort of classic Java, you have objects, and objects can be mutated. And the idea is to think about think not about objects and mutating them, but to take a stream of values and process them into new values. And the advantage of that is that they can be processed in parallel, and lambda expressions can be used to parameterize the operations that occur when you chain together a series of operations using the streams library. So the lambda expressions is a big change for Java SE, mm -hmm. and a lot of um, developers are actually wondering how it's going to affect them. So can you uh, give your opinion on what you think uh, those changes will be? Uh, yeah, I think that... Um, in, in a sense, I, I think you, you, you might think that, that Java programmers will find all this new stuff very difficult, and, and I suppose some people will. Uh, on the other hand, when we talk about the Java community, it's not necessarily people who program exclusively in Java. There's this idea of the polyglot programmer who programs in, in several programming languages all at once. There's Java and a variety of scripting languages, JavaScript, uh, and so forth. And compared to Java, in, in certain respects, these languages are more advanced. Uh, Java is one of the last major programming languages to get lambdas or closures or any, any construct of that form. And so, so in that sense, Java is catching up with other languages. And for polyglot programmers, it, uh, dealing with lambda will probably not be difficult. In fact, for, for, for these kinds of programmers, they're saying, well, I, I, they, they dislike programming in Java because it lacks certain features that they're used to in other languages. So I think they will pick it up very quickly.